post-pandemic economy is the best time to start up a new small business. Well, certainly don't tell that to the young entrepreneur you are about to meet in this next story. She's opening her doors tomorrow to a shop that's all about empowering women. Our Marilyn Moore shares this small business story. Pink neon is the first sign this shop runs on girl power. And we have a bunch of different styles so that everyone can find something. It's the Alicia Collective Company, where owner Emily Howell sells her designs. Kind people are my kind of people. Um, this one's a really good seller. And she leases space to others who sell everything from stationery to scrunchies. My primary goal in setting up this store was to give the female um, small business owners a home and a place for them to be able to step their foot into retail. Like Leah Nanez, who bakes earrings made of clay in her kitchen oven. We even do like themed ones like the conchas, you know, San Antonio. Mm -hmm. We love pan dulce, so we do like some conchas. And Gabrielle Richter, who launched her fashion boutique just as the pandemic hit. We had done one pop-up and then everything shut down, um, which was a little nerve-wracking. Sustainability is also important. For instance, this business sells toothpaste tablets, so no tube. This is a shampoo bar. It replaces three plastic bottles. The business is a bold step for Howell, who started making stickers as a hobby. It all started with a sticker. What was the sticker? It was a UTSA sticker, actually. Where she attends college, studying public health reflected in her products. And we have invest in your mental health. We have a lot of different, um, you know, self-care type of designs. Howell is only 20 years old and already built her business one sticker and t-shirt at a time. Whenever I first started my business, I invested in a Cricut and an iPad. I did like made to order shirts in the beginning, did not have inventory, kept saving my profits and investing, saving my profits and investing. She's still investing this time in a sisterhood. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.